Now, what is this reduction formula? In reduction formula, we reduce an integral of higher order to an integral of the same type but lower order or with small index. For example, let's say we have to integrate sine to the power n x dx. Okay. Now, let's say we have been asked to integrate sine to the power. This is my i n. So my i one will be if I replace n with one, it will be integration of sine x dx i2 will be sin square x dx i3 will be sin cube x dx so i have been asked to integrate a general form that is sin to the power nx dx so what i'll do is i'll write this as okay i can write this in this form this is my first function this is my second function so let's integrate by parts when we integrate this we'll get minus sin n minus 1 dx uh, sorry x and integration of sin x is minus cos x so i have put as minus sin here cos x plus integration of n minus 1 sin of n minus 2x cos square x dx okay now this one cos square x i can write it as 1 minus sin square x okay so this gets converted into minus sin and minus 1 cos x plus x here plus n minus 1 integration of sin of n minus 2 x dx okay minus n minus 1 integration of this is plus sin x and x dx okay sorry here we will have a minus sign okay because this in, this is a positive sign so we will have plus here minus sign so we will have a minus sign here now this one i can write it as minus sign n minus 1 x cos x plus n minus 1 what is this this is i n minus 2 because i n is sin x sin to the power n so i n minus 2 is sin to the power n minus 2 so this n, n, n minus 2 minus n minus 1 i n okay and here also i have i n so if i put this this side i will get n i n is equal to minus sin n minus 1 x plus n minus 1 i n minus 2 so my i n becomes this whole divided by n so this is my i n so this is the reduction formula for sin x to the power n dx now what's the use of this reduction formula the use of this reduction formula is let's say we have been asked to find sin cube x integration dx so that is we have been find to asked to find i3 so you see if i put i n equals to 3 here i'll get i3 equals to minus i'll get i3 equals to minus sin square x plus 3 minus 2 is 1 
थ्री माइनस वन सॉरी थ्री माइनस वन इज टू एंड आई थ्री माइनस टू इज आई वन दैट इज इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ साइन एक्स दैट इज माइनस कॉस एक्स डिवाइड बाई थ्री सो दिस इज माइस इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ साइन क्यूब एक्स डी एक्स सिमिलरली इफ आई वॉन्ट टू फाइंड इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ साइन फाइव एक्स डी एक्स देन अगेन आई कैन फाइंड बिकॉज आई नो द वैल्यू ऑफ आई थ्री ओके सो दिस हाउ डिडक्शन फॉर्मुले हेल्प we will be able to find the answer of higher order integrals using deduction formula okay now you know that any function which is continuous in an interval a to b let's say fx is a function if it is continuous in the interval a to b then we can be able to divide this and this derivative is gx right so we can say that if gx is a function then gx has an anti derivative which is fx okay but sometimes what happens is we won't be able to find this anti derivative in terms of elementary functions like sin cos tan we won't be able to express this anti derivative in these terms in that case what do we say we say that the integral cannot be found for example an integral of sin x by x cannot be found the integration of 1 by log x cannot be found the integration of e to the power x square cannot be found so these are some of the examples whose integration we won't be able to find though the integration may exist but we won't be able to find the value of this integral because the integral cannot be expressed in terms of elementary functions so that's the situation with this we end our discussion on indefinite integrals so if you have any questions you can post it on our forum Our next topic of discussion will be definite integrals. Thank you.